Brian Slasher and Toots. What's up, dudes? Okay, Return to the Living Dead, Kill Count, coming at ya. Oh, it's one of my favorite movies of all time. Best zombie horror movie ever. Well, I'm gonna leave it a step farther. One of the best horror comedy movies ever, dude. I love it that much. And you see that skeleton that they used right there? That was a real skeleton? I just watched a documentary about it. That's back in the 80s when they still used real skeletons in the movies, like in Poltergeist and shit. Big thanks to Carnage Counts for supplying all this footage that I could not get my hands on. Sub make sure you subscribe to them and uh, check out all their cool kill counts they got. And make sure to, to subscribe here if you're new here for more kill counts. I do new movies and old classics like this, so let's get to it. I always found it funny how the same dude who g fucked up and brought Jason back to life is the same dude who fucked up and brought the dead back to life. So, <laughs> so him and his partner fucked up. Uh, they released this chemical and the tar man got out, but the tar man also contaminated the cadaver they had at the medical supply house. And then they called the boss to try to fix the situation. In that movie, they destroyed the brain to kill him. Is that what they did? The brain, right? Yeah. What do doctors use to crack skulls with? Surgical drills. Here, hold it, Frank. So then they let the cadaver out, and then all hell breaks loose. And here's the first instance of a zombie wanting brains. So zombies didn't really want brains until then. Boo! <laughs> He's like, I hit the fucking brain. So that doesn't kill him. These zombies are like indestructible. We haven't seen those type of zombies since. I thought you said if we destroyed the brain, it'd die. It worked in the movie! Well, it ain't working now, Frank. You mean the movie line? Ah, oh, that's so cool. It's so meta. So in the movie, they acknowledge that there's a movie called Night of the Living Dead, which is supposed to be a quasi-sequel to because... They're saying that was based on a real life story. That's why those zombies were in the barrels. And so they burn that body. It gets everywhere. It rains on the graveyard. Zombies everywhere. Taking over the world. Now we're ready for all the kills. Yeah, so Tar Man made his impact. I guess he was in that barrel the whole time. He was like one of the first zombies from the first incident. And then he goes after the biggest guy in the whole yard and everything. Because that guy was like 6'6 to his side. And chomped his head real quick. Yeah, when I was a kid, I was all about how sexy Trash was. Like she was a punk rocker. I was all into it and everything. But nowadays I go, ooh, Tina's the actual dime of the group and everything. That's why she gets picked up when she trips and falls in a puddle of mud. And Trash just falls in a puddle of mud and no one's going to risk their life to save her and everything. Because you don't go try to save a whore. You want to try to save a girl that you could marry someday. That was her fault. I know she has one of the sexiest graveyard dances of all time. Well, I don't know if there's a big list, but one of the best topless scenes of all time. I wore that shit out on my VHS copy, dude. <laughs> Better believe it. Check this out. That dude took a tackle. Boo! <laughs> he got sacked pretty hard. See, Scuzz puts a good point. I guess the actor in the documentary said, I, if I was bitten by a zombie, how come I'm the only one who didn't become a zombie? Because he was just bitten. He wasn't eaten. Because I guess, like, if your totally brains got eaten out by a zombie, then you won't be a zombie. There's nothing left, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so fun, the boarding up with the windows and everything. That's, it makes me want to play old school Call of Duty zombies. See, because Trash comes back. See, she got eaten by a whole bunch of zombies. There might have been nothing left after they were done with her. But she comes back. 
and eats a homeless dude. So it's like, what makes you become a zombie? And some people do not become zombies, but I don't care about it. It's a logic. I wanted to see her again anyway. So these two cops get it. See, these zombies don't give a fuck about gunshots. A whole bunch of cops and paramedics die in this movie. <laughs> See, Tina's a ride or die chick, man. Like, she's still sticking with him when he's turning into a zombie. I don't have a girlfriend ever that was stuck with me becoming a zombie. It's first sight of me being sick. They're off to somebody new. Yeah, so this guy could survive Jason, but he couldn't survive a bunch of gas from a tank. But man, dude, Jason Lives is another one. Like, he made two all-time classics in my book. Open the goddamn door! Then James Carney, the guy who was also in Poltergeist, you only moved the headstones. He decided to check out. Just burn himself, cremated himself, and hey, man, that's a pretty gangster way out to go, man. Just sort of like, hey, I go out on my own terms, man. I ain't gonna go around eating people. I'm gonna be ashes, cause that's the only way you could have killed yourself by becoming just ash. <laughs> You see, this zombie movie was about 30-something years ago, and they still haven't figured out how to make zombies smarter. Like, look at this zombie. He's totally setting up the future cops for a trap, like an ambush and everything. Like, these zombies are actually coordinating and making plans and speaking and everything. I'm surprised they didn't, like, try to copy this more often. Like, why do zombies always have to be, like, stupid Walking Dead ones, you know? Yeah, man, you fucked up calling that emergency thing. It's like, call this in case we'll nuke you. <laughs> Why would you ever call it then? But I guess everyone got blown up, so the death count is actually whoever is was in that city and everything. Who knows? How many people die in the nuclear blast, you know? All right, well, I'll say the total kill count is about 25 in the movie, and they say less than 4,000. So the general called in after he said, oh, well, President, it's less than 4,000 casualties. So I guess 4,000. But it's a really great movie, man. I'd say it's one of the best horror comedies of all time. Definitely top zombie movie for me and everything. Dude, and the soundtrack is killer, too. I love all those bands. So go pick it up on iTunes or Spotify or just listen to it for free on YouTube. So thanks for watching. Watch some more videos, and I will see you dudes later. Later, dudes.